What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here and welcome back to the channel. So, Sony has decided to not change the game, but just charge more for the same game. I of course am referring to Sony's recent decision to raise the price of their PlayStation Network service. Sony has decided that their annual premium of $49.99 isn't enough to charge for their spotty network, which includes up to 6 free games monthly and many deals across gaming and film. I heard this news and immediately winced in pain as I read Sony's reasoning for their price hike that will take place next month on September 22nd. Sony's new and improved prices of $59.99 a year, that's up from $49.99, $24.99 for three months, which is up from $17.99, and the monthly price that isn't changing at all, don't come with any new improvements other than the price. You think that the extra capital will be pledged by Sony as an investment into their spotty PlayStation network. It's actually the go-to network for whichever squad feels like doing a DDoS attack. But no! Sony's only explanation for the new asking price is this, quote, This marks the first time that PlayStation Plus membership prices will increase in the U.S. and Canada since the launch of the service in 2010. The new pricing reflects the current market conditions while enabling us to continue providing exceptional value to our customers, end quote. Which means in layman's terms, quote, Hello PlayStation supporters, we've been thinking of ways to increase our already amazing PS4 revenue and we figure as long as we don't go higher than our competition, then no harm no foul. Since Xbox Live is $59.99 a year, we can go that high without any real guilt and think of how much extra income the company will make. There are over 40 million PS4s out there and we have over 21 million PS Plus subscribers and well, you do the math. That's an extra $210 million a year, and let us tell you, that has us extremely excited about our future. Will there be people unsubscribing? Sure, some people will, but sooner or later, they'll be back when they get lonely and begin to miss their fellow gamers. We'd like to thank you for your support, end quote. This news, of course, never mentions any improvements to the service, any extra content, or really any additions to what we already get. I'd actually feel a lot better about this whole idea if Sony actually put some of this new revenue into their network infrastructure, but sadly, I feel they won't be doing that. On the flip side, some would say, Beastly Gamer included, that PS Plus is an amazing value. Subscribers get up to 72 full games for free annually across PS4, PS3, and PS Vita. There are lots of perks and deals that PlayStation Plus gets to subscribers as well. Like just last week, I watched UFC 202 at a discounted price through Sony's service, so it's actually a great value to gamers who see the cup as half full. Sony claims that their new asking price, quote, reflects the current market conditions, end quote. And I'm no analyst, so I can't say for sure, but let's look at Netflix. Arguably the number one movie streaming site on Earth. Netflix announced a price increase for a streaming service way back in May of this year. The company asked its customers to pay more, $9.99 per month compared to $7.99 per month that the company has been known for as long as I can remember. Netflix isn't offering anything new to its service, and subscribers that are grandfathered in like me aren't even safe from the new higher prices. Independent studies have revealed that Netflix could lose up to 480,000 subscriptions by the time their new price hike hits all customers in October of this year. If market conditions are shifting, why do they always seem to only shift in favor of corporations? Will Sony lose tons of PS Plus subscribers due to their price hikes? And do you think that we deserve a better reason than the generic one laid out by Sony? please sound off in the comment section below and let the beast know exactly how you feel. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.